Hello fam, welcome, my name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on Instagram and TikTok because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldies but goodies. So you guys, I have my mic on. Literally last week, I forgot to put my mic on. I swear like five times. I was just like, no. And you can tell when it's echoey. And as I was editing, I was like, dang it. But anyway, Mike is on. We're doing a full face of rare beauty. Someone I forgot asked me to do it. And I, I'll put the screenshot here because I think I screenshot. And I'm like, oh, I have the majority of rare beauty stuff. The only thing I'm missing, I know, is the eyeliner and the eye primer. You guys know we like a concealer as an eye primer. So let's start. I'm going to use the concealer in 290N. This concealer is way too dark. It's okay. Oh no, not bad. I did my brows already off camera because I don't have a brow product in there. We're gonna blend this out. I'm gonna get this fluffy brush and kind of just blend it into like the brow. Make sure we're like cohesively blended. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. The only eyeshadow palette I have is this one. It is the Magnetic Spirit. Looks like this. It's all shimmers. So what should we do? We're gonna get some of the bronzer, add it here to give us a little bit of depth. There, you see, a little fluffy brush. We're just gonna, Rare Beauty doesn't have a powder bronzer. So let's just use the Kosev. Also, just cause it's sold at Sephora, we can keep it with like Sephora makeup too, you know? I'm just gonna tap it and set that cream really quick. I really like this palette. I actually did five looks with it. So we're gonna get, guys, my friend got me a new mirror and it says Gastada wear. Oh my God, how cute, huh? Okay, we're gonna add it here. You guys, I just got my nails done. Girl, having nails is no joke. Like I have to update everything. I could barely type now. I'm just like, I could barely grab makeup. The whole little process going on. Ooh, look at that, look at that. I like about this palette, it's super easy to use. Because it is shimmers, you can just throw on a bronzer and then one of these shades and call it a day, you know? I don't know like where do we today. I don't want to add, let's add some, I was going to say purple, purple. Add it like right here. Yeah, blend it in there. Then with that bronzer brush we used, we can just blend it out. Cute. Oh my God, I haven't even mentioned my towel. I washed my hair today. You guys know I don't wash my hair too often. I finally used my mask. That hair mask I got at the Sephora VIB cell. I'll put a picture here. I really like it. Really feel like it scrubbed the scalp so well. Okay, so I just cleaned this up and did a quick wing because I don't have their eyeliner. I, I should have got it. I completely forgot. But what I do have is the mascara. I bought this a while ago and finally using it. Oh Lord, how am I going to open this with these claws? You always need a tweezer around because that's how we get it done. Here it is. I've heard nothing but great things about this mascara and I got the mini. I always like to do my mascara at the very beginning of the makeup process. Towards the end, we can just go in there and curl the lashes and the lashes are nice and dry so you can curl them. The eyelash curler won't pull your lashes. The eyelash curler pulls lashes, like can pull your lashes off if your mascara is wet. Here's very pigmented and we are getting a little bit of volume here. Like off the bat, it's giving you a lot of love here. Very, very pigmented look. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm so excited. Next up is their four in one Always Optimus spray. Okay, let's look at this mist. Oh, this is nice. Let's spray. It hydrates, primes, sets, and refreshes. It has a little scent, but I'm not mad at it. I kind of like this. Okay, now that the face is nice and hydrated, oh, it feels nice. It's a little sticky. We're gonna get the primer, and let's see. Oh, you see that? No scent. It has a bit of a thick texture in the center of the face. We do have oily skin. It feels nice. Kind of like silicone, but moisturizing too. Yeah. Moisturize it. Of course, we want to let this sit. Actually, let's spray one more time and see. For fun. You guys, I woke up at five in the morning today. I went to the gym, showered, and here we are. Oh my God, I'm full of energy, like so much energy. Okay, guys, no, we have to mix both of these together because why not? I have the shade 310W. I'm not warm. I don't know why I got warm. And then we have 38 neutral. The skin tint does run a little bit warm. Foundation. I really like this foundation. 
Now let's get the skin tint. Let's kind of just add it like this, right? Maybe a little more. <laughs> now the skin tint. Actually, what I meant to do was grab this. I forgot the this has the doe foot. Let's see what concoction we make here. I don't own any of Rare Beauty brushes. So I'm just using this It Cosmetics one. I don't want to get any of my hair because I just washed it. Oh, wow. This is nice. Yeah, a little warm because I have... Why did I get the warm? Who knows? This was also a while ago when Rare Beauty first released their makeup. I was so excited. You guys, no, we're going to let this sit. Let's give it maybe like 10 minutes. So it's currently 8.30. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. We're going to cream contour, I mean bronze. So I have the shade here, Happy Soul. And when it comes to sticks, you always want to grab it with either a sponge or a brush. Warm it up because then it'll look a hot mess. You have to just give it warmth, give it warmth. I'm going to hit it right here at the top where you see that the ear is right there and kind of just tap it on. You don't want to move your foundation or anything else. These tapping motions are key when it comes to cream, bronzer, and blushes. Because if you go like that or if you put too much product, you'll have patches for days. You guys remember when I used to have all those patches? I'm already a heavy handed person. So it's like it was too much. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna get our blush. I have this shade Hope, the radiant shades. It's not the matte one. And also with a brush. I'm gonna get this brush from MAC and just add it here. Keeping it close to like the under eye area and also to the bronzer. Just giving us a little flush of color. Something I love about Rare Beauty makeup is just how easy it is to work with. It's not difficult. It's pigmented, but not too pigmented where you're looking crazy or it's too much. Found with all the products, it's just easy. It's an easy way to get a nice look, you know? And then if you ever feel like, whoa, it's too much. I don't feel like that today, but let's just say we did. Whoa, this almost hit me in my face. We're going to just get that brush. We used our foundation and just tap it all over. And I always like to do bronzer and blush first in case it's too much. We always can go with our concealer and clean up as well. This concealer is too dark, so I'm going to have to cheat a little bit and use some of my white pigment. So I'm going to get the white pigment and I'm going to get some concealer. Like do this motion. And now we're going to mix and we're going to add it. My under eyes look darker because we're working with purple eyeshadow. So purples will bring out any darkness and discoloration you have. It appears like it's more, it's not literally more, but it's just, it brings it, it pulls those purple blues out. You know what I'm saying? I'm just applying this like this. You guys, I'm loving this spray. It's like the way it sprays, it's just, I don't know, like. <laughs> now we're gonna get my favorite concealer brush, which is the Sephora collection. I do like this concealer. I just remember it does crease a lot. And then I'm gonna get my sponge tap everything on and this way too it kind of is nice and blended you know oh yeah look at just how supple okay next up is this powder that you guys i reviewed you guys saw it is in the shade light we're gonna get a little bit of this i'm gonna get my powder puff this does have a bit of a radiant so i will not put a lot on my under eye area because we know that just doesn't work and what i want to try out today is instead of looking all the way up i'm just gonna look ahead and set the under eyes like that and see como nos va because i'm very Creasy under eye. Let's see. I'm gonna get some more of the powder and just set everything down. Then go over top here. Ooh, this looks pretty. This powder does set the skin beautifully. Like it blurs so well. I'm just gonna speed up powder, bronzer, and blush because I don't have a powder, bronzer. I don't think they have a powder, blush, or bronzer. Do this really quick. We're going to get this inner corner shade. No, this shade for the inner corner. And let's just hit it right there. Oh, look how pigmented that is. I love it. We're going to blend it here. Then we're going to get, let's get the purple shade. Just hit it down here. Oh, yeah. That's cute. I feel like I'm going to fall out here. Okay. 
Okay, I just curled my lashes and they're still wet. What the heck? Anytime like your lashes are wet and you recurl them, you have to be careful because it'll pull them out. So I would say just like slowly bring them out. I want lashes all up in there. <laughs> have more of these lipsticks i cannot find them we're gonna choose from this i don't know which one i'm thinking more of the wine shade right i'll go a little better yeah 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 let's make sure we don't have nothing on our teeth yeah this lipstick's pretty. It looks more wine in the packaging, but on the lips is more of a red wine shade. So I really, really like it. You guys, this skin looks beautiful. Look it. It just looks not too heavy. We have a nice little glow and it's because of the powder. The powder does have a little bit of radiance in it. I wasn't expecting to be fully glam, but you know, it happened. <laughs> Like I was telling you, it's so easy to work with this makeup. I just feel like I got the face done fairly quickly. The eyes, mascara, super pigmented. All the cream products are beautiful. The bronzer, the blush, the foundation, the concealer, the primer was really, really good. You guys, this spray is bomb. I've been missing out. Let me know, have you used it? What do you think about it? Let me know your thoughts. I did have to cheat a little bit. You guys saw with the bronzer, blush, and this but I don't have that, so you know, it's okay. I do reach for this palette a lot because as you can see how pigmented these shimmers are, get the perfect shimmer pigment from this palette. I always find myself grabbing this shade and this shade right here. They're very creamy, pigmented, and they lay on the lid very well. And yeah, I just love this. One of the things that I love most about Rare Beauty is that it's not a very expensive brand. I feel like they're more in the low, medium end of pricing when it comes to makeup that's sold at Sephora, you know? Oh my God, I feel like the lipstick on my teeth. Of course, supporting a Latina owned brand, a woman owned brand, which is very important. And yeah, I just love how everything came out. I love everything. There's nothing I don't like. The only thing is the mascara is like super wet. So it'll take a long time to dry. But wait, before I even go, we're doing a wear test. So I'll do my outro at the wear test. See you later. Bye. It's a little gloomy, but I had to show you the skin. Look, look how pretty. Oh my God, I love it. Skin looks so good, eyes, everything. Oh! All right, fam, I had to put my hair up because you know, you know how it is. Currently 5.15, can you see? We've had a full face of rare beauty for about 10 hours. Look at the skin. The skin looks really freaking good. I am very glowy, but we started off with a glowy complexion, but you guys know we have oily skin here and we're just bound to look a little glowier with glowy product, but I'm not mad at it. Like the foundation and tinted moisturizer look really good. That setting powder is really, really smoothing and blurring and I just love it. Like eye makeup still on, everything is still well put together except for my hair, but I definitely don't look gastada today. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how the skin looks just to give you a quick wear test. Please let me know which is your favorite Rare Beauty product. I absolutely loved everything, but that setting spray I think has to be my favorite. It just felt so nice on the skin. And look, it's made the complexion last all day long. But yeah, this is it. I love you guys so, so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.